Hello everyone. Welcome to a special series that I am doing. This is Stardew Valley, and I'm going to be pre-recording an entire year. I don't mean the real year calendar, I mean the in-game one full year. And this is going to be uploaded starting on the day that I have my gallbladder surgery, which I still don't have a date for that. And it'll be uploaded two times a day for however many videos we end up with. This is to allow me some recovery, some new content for all of you, and uh, hopefully it'll be very enjoyable. I love the game. I have like 60 hours in the game. I got like that. No time flat. I love it. It's great. It's wonderful. So we're going to start a new game and uh, go from there. Let's see, I'm going to pick a female. White. I'm going to go with Bao the Kitty. Farm name? Kitty Haven. Favorite thing? Well, my favorite thing right now happens to be tea. I've been enjoying some wonderful teas as of late. Animal preference? Obviously. Although I do like dogs, don't get me wrong. So, uh, hang on, I have to yawn. Hmm. Let's start with the hair. Let's go like this. Some red hair. Eye color. There we go. A little bit of purple. Paints color, maybe a bit darker. I like the overalls, so we're going to leave the overalls like that. I like that hair. You we're going to look for some accessories. No, no. Glasses, no. Earrings! Silver earrings. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me. I will turn down the music once we get into the game. And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you will be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. Unknown number of years later. Joja, join us. Thrive. Work. 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 <sighs> Someone lost a job. Pill popper and caffeine addict or energy drink I don't know. Mm-hmm.
Dear Bail the Kitty, If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I had lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Kitty Haven Farm. It's, log it's located in Stardew Valley. On the southern coast, it's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Of course, Grandpa. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would be having a cup of tea right now, but it's uh, kind of late at night and I don't want the caffeine, even though I am tired. Stardew Valley. 0.5 miles. It should be kilometers. I kid. Hello, you must be Bayo the Kitty. I'm Robin, the local, the local carpenter. Mary Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Thank you, Robin. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Oof. This is Kitty Haven Farm. Oh boy. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I hope you're right. That's a lot of work. Oh. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Hi, Lewis. I'm Bale the Kitty. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Oh. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Don't listen to her, Bear the Kitty. She's just trying to make your dis um, make you dissatisfied, so that uh, you buy one of her house upgrades. <gasps> hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Thank you, Mary Lewis. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thank you again, Mayor Lewis. Oh, need some rest. And the start of our new life begins. And what's this? <gasps> parsnip seeds! You receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mayor Lewis. 
Let's check out the journal here? Introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. And getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use the seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Those are kind of like our quests. Hmm, it's on TV. Well, weather report. Welcome to KOZV5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Good to know. I do that a lot. Welcome back to Willix... Relix Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, we... Well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. And living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search uh, for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Good advice. Oh, so much to do. Well, we need to clear a little bit to plant. Ooh, we got some seeds. Excuse me. I would like to cut this tree down. Uh, trees, um, they will grow back on their own if there's like nothing on the ground, like an open area here. A sapling will just appear. And yes, I know a lot of. Uh, YouTube channels have done this game certainly by now when this goes up, but uh, it's best to assume that uh, you haven't seen it, just in case. Okay, um... Two? I'm really putting this in the wrong spot. Three, four... And we'll water it uh, before we put the seed packets in. It doesn't matter, so long as we do both. And you can see that our energy bar is dropping. There we go. Okay, so, um, let's see. How much to get a chest? We need 50 wood, and we really should get a chest first off. It's 9.20 in the morning, and we can go exploring in a bit. Now, is it people compare this game to Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing a little bit, apparently. I have played neither of those games. But in a way, it kind of reminds me of Haven and Hearth, before it went downhill, uh, a little. And the part of the attraction, it's not as long and drawn out, but this is a lot sweeter, a lot, if you will, simpler way of doing things. We have enough to make a chest. It's almost meant to be like a kid's game. Oh, 
Okay, so let's get the tools in the order that I kind of like them in. I like a pick, axe, scythe, and then help. Now we're going to head to town. Take a look around. Wow, our energy's not doing too good. Ah. There we go, dandelion. The very first forge into the wild. Ooh! One of these. Oh, clay, good start. I call them worms, but apparently they're not worms. I have no idea what they are. Uh, let's check out doctor's office. So you can buy muscle remedy and energy tonic. Okay. And to talk to him, we have to go away from him. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Hi, Harvey. I'm Bear the Kitty. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I'm sure it is. I hope you'll find our... I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. I think I will. I think I will indeed. Oh, hi. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hi, Sam. I'm Bale the Kitty. Oh, so we're done talking to him. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marin. Marin? I have terrible names, as you all know. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. I will. Thank you. And a calendar. Ooh. Sunday is Mayor Lewis's birthday. We should try and remember to give him a gift. Hi, Leah. Um, uh, this must be Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm Belle the Kitty. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Oh, it does seem very nice here. Pierre's? Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into the old farm. Yeah, I'm Bale the Kitty. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Oh, I I'm sorry. Maybe I can save a patch for you to just enjoy. I'll try. Hey, it's Miss Bale the Kitty, the new farmer. I'm Pierre. Owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agricultural agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Oh, well, I'm glad to be a part of that. Thank you. And... What do you sell? Oh, you have cauliflower. Cauliflower takes a long time. And beans are so let's see. Just a couple. Only three cauliflower. Oh, and that's all we can get. And four bean starters. Okay. So we kind of spent all our money. All of our savings. That's okay. Hello, you must be Bale the Kitty, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. My husband runs a general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's a, she's the pale one with the purple hair. I like her hair. And yes, I have met her. Now, in Pierre's store, there's a lot of other things, too. Oh, hi. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, thank you very much. I'm Bao the Kitty. Nice to meet you.
<laughs> I'm slipping down here. This is the beach, and I'm looking for... There we go. Looking for things to pick up that we can sell. Oh, what's this? Right click it, Sarah. Hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Really? Hmm, well, we'll work on that. And there's a store there. That would be the, uh, for fishing tackle and bait and stuff. Not open yet. He's gone fishing. No, really, he's gone fishing. What's this? Hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Arche Archeo Archeo Archaeological Office. Some words are tough to say for me. Ah, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Why, sure, Gunther. Don't mind at all. Uh, just let me put a pick through your counter there. I have such a hard time clicking on this. I'm not the only person. It is possible. And these are books that you can read. Oh. We'll have to try another time. Can't get at that book. We'll eventually get it. We will eventually get it. Ah, itchy. Itchy hands. Oops. So uh, let's go this way and see. Ooh, someone new. Excuse me. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Uh, thank you. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Well, thank you very much. She didn't introduce her name. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. I'm Bear the Kitty. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. I hope so. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Hi, Vincent. I'm Bear the Kitty. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well, your mama's very smart. You should listen to her. That's the doctor. So many places to explore. So many things to do. So many places I can't walk. So we need a total of seven. Two, three, four, five, and we'll put them down. Six, seven. We need the watering can. Don't need that. Let's sell the dandelion, maybe? Yes, let's sell the dandelion. Actually, we'll wait just in case if we need to eat it for some energy. Nothing worse than planting crops and then running out of energy. Oh, jeez. Oh, hang on. 
Oh, okay, okay, now I see. Uh, I'm okay. I'm alright. There's fertilizers that you can make as well as buy. Okay, actually I'm going to fill up the can and then put it away. And we don't need that there. And this, we can't hit yet. We have to upgrade our axe. That will cost money and ore that we get in the mines. Ah, uh, yes. So we do a little bit of exploring. Behind here, actually, if you go in behind that, it makes it go see through. There's like a shrine. Almost out of energy. I think we can finish it. Reminds me like of a bunny or something. So can we, uh... Okay. We are wandering around. I had to you know, make the path to open up this, which I really wanted to do. Oh! A leak! Huh. Well, okay. We're cutting it close. Oh, hi. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Wait, are you smoking? Smoking. Not so good. Anything more here? No. Oh, no. Nine o'clock. Wow. Jeez. It's a pretty busy first day, I'd say. Planting some crops, making some room. We don't have a very big farm yet, but I think we will in time. Let's drop all this off. You do need clay for building some things. And we shall drop off the leak. I think maybe getting uh, to bed early on our first night on the farm doing things would be a good idea. So, I do hope that uh, you enjoyed um, the first episode of Stardew Valley, Kitty Haven Farm. And uh, let's actually go to sleep and we'll finish off here and we'll see what we get. Because it only saves after you go to sleep. We got 250 gold. Ah, the clams. 50 gold apiece. Leak 60 gold. It's good to know. So we got a little bit of money. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yes. As I was saying, I do hope you enjoyed the first episode. And I hope you join me again for another installment. But until then, please do be safe, everyone. Bye!